In this tutorial, we will examine the use of variables and objects and the syntax that can be used. On the screen here, we can see several different data types connected to some display objects as well as push buttons. Depending on the type of data, they get connected or addressed in different ways. That's true for simple variables, structured variables, arrays, as well as expressions. These are only a couple examples of ways to use variable syntax. Let's take a look at how it's done. We're working in MoveCon 11.4. We're going to open up the screen, Object Syntax, and take a look at some of the objects there. Once we have the screen open, we can see there are several edit box displays and some push buttons. We're going to take a look first at the one next to var underscore sign word and see how it's connected. Here we can see, uh, find the tag in the tag browser under simple var and select it and hit OK. We can see that the push button is also connected to the same tag but only to the first bit. We can do that by using the dot bit, in this case dot zero, to access just the first bit of that word. Next we'll take a look at how to do this in a structure. Here you can select the structure from the tag browser if you like, as well as separating it and defining the default structure and then the member. If we take a look at the push button, again connected only to the first bit in both cases. Next we're going to take a look at how to address an array. Again we can open up the tag browser and we're going to go under the array var folder and select var array sign word. If we open that up, we can find the first element there, zero. The next way we can do this is by putting a dot element and then the number of the element you'd like. So for this example, dot E zero would be the first element in that array. We can also access individual bits of a member of an array by using the same syntax as earlier, dot bit number. So here we'll open up the tag browser. We'll double click to select our variable and we can type in dot zero for the first bit. Next we're going to take a look at our expression editor and how to add expressions into objects on the screen. We're going to look at this first one and open up the tag browser and select the expressions button. Here we can see we've already got one pre-made and there is a tag browser in the expression editor as well. We're going to go ahead and delete this and remake it. Okay, so now we're just going to select our tag, double click, times, and then we can enter 10, and we've got our expression. Next, we're going to examine how to do this with structures. With structures, it's very important to use the expression editor and use the tag browser within that to select it because of the, the syntax that uh, is used. So we're going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to remake this like we connected it first to just the variable and then later decided to make an ex in a connector make an expression. So we're going to connect it first to the var struck uh, signed word and we're going to go ahead and look at what that did. We can see it var struck. Okay, so we've got connected to our variable but now if we open the expression editor we can see the syntax looks a little different. It's missing the square brackets. So what we want to do is delete that and then I'll re remake that connection or select that variable from the tag browser. Now you can see MoveCon automatically put the square brackets. Now we can say times 10 and everything's okay. This is the same thing is true for array variables. If you're using expressions to pick the expression uh, or the variable from the uh, expression editor. So we're going to go ahead and put this application into runtime mode. And now with our application in runtime mode again, we can see that if we adjust these variable values, that depending on how the object was addressed, we can change just the first bit value or the numeric value of that variable. We also can see the expressions are changing based on the calculations that were put into the field. That concludes this short tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, we welcome you to use the MoveCon Learning Center comment section below. As a reminder, you can download this example project 
from the link provided on the webpage.